king cobras have been here for millions of years. And people from this part, that is South Canada, North Canada, particularly the Central Western Ghats, revere king cobras. A patch of forest is declared as, uh, as a sacred grooves, sometimes Nagabana, that is for the cobras, so they don't cut those trees there, they don't collect leaf litter, they don't disturb them. So the forest is just let for cobras. There's a belief if the king cobra passes through their plantation or uh, any agricultural land, that year they're going to get a bumper price. So that's how people are associated with this uh, serpent. We take advantage of any gathering, for example, at a festival. That's the time we play our documentaries. We talk to them about snakes, venomous and non-venomous, do's and don'ts, and, and, and somebody gets bitten. When people call me, there's a king cobra in their house, and I'm quite uh, far away from this location, which takes like eight hours or sometimes overnight bus to reach this place. They lock the house, they go and sleep in the neighbor's house, but they will not disturb the snake and they will not kill the snake. <laughs> Ready? I'm bringing the snake out. Prashant, ready? King cobras are the apex predators in the reptile world. So the king cobras keep a check on other venomous snakes, which is really good for a farmer. So it's good to have one king cobra than uh, close to 10 other venomous snakes. Anywhere in this world, if they have a place to survive, this is it, this is the place where Central Western Guts. <laughs>